<laughs> How's it going today, everybody? What's up? I hope you're having a great day today, but if you're not, if today you're feeling kind of anxious, kind of worried, kind of afraid, for whatever reason, any reason, if you feel like you have a lot of negative thoughts running through your head right now or on a regular basis, any other time, this is a quick little exercise that really helps me. And I really kind of discovered this today for myself. While I was running, I... It's really easy for me, real quick, it's really easy for me to sort of let my awareness from the present moment, in, in the present moment, there is no fear, there is no anxiety, there is no negativity, there is only love. I kind of, it, it's become easy due to unconscious behavior, due to unconscious thinking. My awareness, instead of sitting up front and being present in the moment, like being here now in life, it can kind of draw back, like in the back of my mind almost and it feels like I'm on autopilot like I have taken the back seat to my life and I'm kind of just doing whatever my subconscious subconscious programming wants me to do and that's as you probably know this whole world is set up to make you anxious and afraid so it's really easy to have negative thoughts and like a negative they social media has, has been brainwashing you you got to realize that so don't be don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed, don't worry that you are having negative thoughts because this is like a lot of people are. You're not alone. This is normal. And so what I did today to get my mind out of the negative thought loops, instead of trying to run away from the negative thoughts, instead of trying to pull away and get away from the negative thoughts, which does not work, let me tell you, trying to run away, away from something is not going to get you any further away from it. It's going to bring it closer to you. Sounds counterintuitive, but if you've experienced it, you know exactly what I mean. Instead, try to go towards something positive, something that you're thankful for, something that you have right now that you are grateful to have in your life. Or, I liked to use affirmations a lot today. So while I was running, literally, I I would repeat to myself, kind of under my breath, like, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love, like, like almost the entire time I was running, just like, I was like, oh, I'm high vibrational, I am high vibrational, I am high vibrational, I'm raising my vibration, like, I was saying that over and over and over again while I was running and I was tr and I was like trying to like oh and since I was running that is a energy intensive it is a high energy task you need to put energy into it but it also gets you pumped up because you're getting your blood flowing so it's a lot easier to to be in the moment while you were running so it's like while I was running I was telling myself these things I was telling myself all of these affirmations that really sort they were they were boosting my vibration they were boosting my my confidence my self-love my self-esteem like my energy i was having more energy i was in the moment present in the moment while i was running i was i wasn't drawn back into thoughts like when i listen to music when i run i've noticed this i've i it's really easy for me if i listen to music to just kind of take the back seat let my body just kind of do the work and while that's nice, because, you know, you can go through an entire run and just be like, oh, that was fast. When you were taking the back seat like that, you aren't focused on what you were thinking. So the thoughts that could be running through your mind, like for me, at least, when I'm listening to music, I can have a lot of negative thoughts that I'm not even realizing I'm having. And that is that is therefore programming my mind to be more negative. And so I really want to emphasize, like... If you work out with music, give it a shot to try to not use music. Because when I use music, it kind of distracts me from being in the present moment. Like music is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. But it can also be used as a distraction from the present moment. The here and now. Where all of your happiness lies. Where all of your freedom lies. Where all of your power, creativity, ultimate light 
lies in this present moment right now, like here. Right here. It's, it all lies right here. Nowhere else. You cannot find it in the future or to be future or the past. Already happened. It's gone. Right now is the only thing that exists here and now forever. Like, this, just a fact. You have to understand that. But as I was saying those affirmations, as I was telling myself these things, I was I was crowding out. I was pointing my direct my attention, my conscious attention into the direction of positive thinking, positive affirmations. I was doing this boom, 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 boom. I was with intensity, with energy, with motivation, with like vigor. I was getting myself into the I was forcing myself. It takes energy. It takes conscious energy to get your mind to where you want to be. As I was saying those affirmations, it raised my energy and it made it a lot easier because it made it a lot easier to say those affirmations and stay in the moment. Like what I'm doing right now, talking, I'm pulling from the moment. I'm in the moment, basically freestyling everything I'm saying right now. I do not have a script. I do, have a, I do not have a script right now with me, nothing like that. My shoes, my sandals. But because it made it easier. Okay, so there is you have a vibrational scale. The lowest and the highest. In between those two points, okay? This is like neutral. Like you're just neither or indifferent, you know? If you're really low, if you're like at the bottom, you're like fear-based. You are like afraid. You are constantly in serious fear is not you're not having a good time. You're like straight up not having a good time right now. <laughs> If you were at the highest frequency, you were at like enlightenment, okay? But that, you know, a limited amount of people have reached that. You have to give up a lot of stuff. But regardless, if you want to raise your vibration, lower vibration is low energy. The proof is in the pudding. My arm's getting tired. The proof is in the pudding. Low vibration, low energy. High vibration, high energy. Let's say you were in the middle. If you want to be high vibration, you have to put conscious energy into becoming high vibration. You cannot raise your vibration without putting energy in. If you think, well, I don't want to use my energy because then I'll be tired and I'll do... Listen, if when you are in the higher states of vibration, when you're in the higher frequencies, you gain energy from being in those states of vibration because they are so high energy. When you are in the lower states of consciousness, of vibration, frequency, you are basically using less energy to get there. That's why it's so easy to be negative. Because it's like, you don't have to put energy into it. You can just be negative. But it's, it's, like, you're, it's like you're just throwing away. It'll take energy from you, basically. When you're in the lower states of consciousness the lower vibrations you are basically giving your energy away so either way if you're going to be high vibration or low vibration high frequency or low frequency happy or sad or anywhere in between you're either giving energy it's like basically you are spending your energy or you're throwing it away when you were down here you're throwing it away when you're up here you're spending it does that make sense Imagine this, it takes less energy. If you're in the lower vibration, it takes less physical strength. There's an example, physical movement or strength or physical energy to sit in your house and burn a $20 bill. It takes less energy to do that than to go to the store, drive your car to the store, walk into the store, find something to buy, and buy that thing with the $20 bill. But the only difference is, for spending that physical energy to go to the store, you have something to show for it because you use that ener the money, the energy, to pay for something which you can now hold and take home and do whatever you want with. You can resell it. I don't know if you bought a potato or 20 bucks worth of potatoes, but you can buy something and you will have something for it. But if you just burned your $20 bill, you have nothing to show for it. But, you know, on the plus side, you didn't have to spend any energy to do that. You just had to pull up your lighter and show a $20 bill and burn it and it took no energy but you lost that energy you wasted it basically so instead of putting energy in 
to get something back, you just let it go. And you say, well, it's easier, but you're wasting your energy. I hope this made sense. I hope this. I hope you gained something from this. Maybe I gave you an idea. Give it a shot. Try to, instead of run away from your anxious thoughts, your negative thoughts, try to run towards positive thoughts, positive thinking. Be careful. Be mindful of your thoughts all the time because it is easy to feel like you're running towards positivity, but in the back of your mind, be running away from negativity. It's really easy to do that. So just be conscious, be aware. Without further ado, with all of that being said, I hope you have a great day, a great night, and a great life. Peace out.